Since last time I've been learning to get better at Unity and coding, and I've been going through a lot of Udemy courses as well as several free YouTube courses that I found online. I still find it pretty hard to create games, but this is what I've done so far in the past two months. In terms of in the mix game that uh, me and my friend have been prototyping, unfortunately he's been pretty busy, so I wasn't able to continue with that project because I wanted to do it with him. I didn't want to do it alone. Um, which is okay, I've postponed it and the core game mechanics is still there. I went on YouTube and I found this string simulation tutorial and um, I, I created this uh, string thing. I'm not really sure what it is, <laughs> but I thought it was very cool. It's just basically um, simulating a behavior of a string and yeah, that's pretty cool. I then made a landing a spaceship mini game and it's very silly. But I noticed that I struggle a lot with uh, physics engine, like using physics in Unity. Because of that, I found this course which taught um, 2D and 3D physics on Udemy. I haven't finished it, but so far it's going really good. And I also fixed my um, spaceship. It used to behave really weird, but I don't have the video captured. So yeah. I did some research for a month on uh, Romanian legislation in terms of um, what it's like to open a private limited company there. I wanted to do some research on that because I wanted to understand what it would mean to open a business. One day I would have to open a business. Would I want to open it here or would I want to open it somewhere else? And <laughs> even till this day, I still don't understand it 100% because it's still pretty uh, strange, but hopefully... <laughs> In time, I would be able, I'll be able to fully understand it. Then I found um, this tutorial made by Blackthorn Prod on uh, procedural generation and I've created my own version. It was very cool. I think the most important thing in that tutorial wasn't actually the coding, but understanding that what random what randomization means, what does it mean to randomize something and how much you can randomize to make it, um, you know, what's too much and what's not, what's not enough in a way to create that sense of randomness. Um, yeah. And then uh, after finishing that, I made a platformer on, U on a course on Udemy. And um, that was pretty interesting. It's called Tal uh, Talvania. And it's just literally just simply explaining what it, what it's like to move a sprite from left to right. There's no physics or, uh, involved, but it was just a really cool little course I took. Um, after that, I uh, it was my birthday and my sister drew me this really cute character, and I thought that okay, well I've been I did one or two or three mini games on Udemy, and uh, maybe I'll be able to create something silly. And so I tried to turn this cute little drawing she made into an actual game. And it took me three days. It looked like it was this really cute, uh, look like Godzilla character, and I, I called it Cutezilla. I also made the music for it, and the music was. Um, the funny thing is that the music took me about three, four hours to make. And uh, it's funny, but it's also sad that the music is better than the game itself, because the game is really crap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it was still worth it. It's very good. I, I need to keep doing that. And then after that, I made another um, another game. Well, it's not really a game. It's just another project, and uh, where this I would just toss this dice, and the computer would be able to tell which face landed on top. It's made by this guy Alexander Zotov. I hope I'm not butchering your name. And. Um, yeah, it was very cool. And I want to make uh, a game out of that. Uh, yeah, but that's coming soon. That's that's coming. I think that's the next project I'm making after I finish this YouTube video. And then I made, uh, I'm, I've been making this tower defense uh, game um, made by Brackies. And uh, it's surprisingly very helpful to learn 3D games because I've never done any 3D games so far apart from the dice tossing the dice and um, 
it's uh it's quite different but in the same time there's so so many similarities it's it's um it's very friendly like I, I was expecting to be much harder to transition from 2d to 3d but it's not that bad During the summer, I also made this uh, song called Collide. I made it on my synthesizer OP1, and um, I, I produced it, and then I produced it on uh, FL Studio 20. Um, that was a very emotional project. I would like to make a, a video about that because it was such a personal project, and um, it, was, it was about my state of mind and uh, during the summer where I just graduated from university and I think personally well yeah it's my project but I think that I've captured my um, my mental state at that time very well and I thought that was pretty cool to share I w I've also been listening to this uh, DJ Acid Arab which uses like Arabic scales or Arabic progression um, yeah yeah and it would turn, it would mix it with techno in the same time. Yeah. It's very weird. You should check it out. I also made a beat that's inspired from that. Um, and yeah, this is how it sounds. That's all I did. It doesn't feel like it's a lot, and I feel like I'm constantly not doing, I'm not like advancing as fast as I was expecting. Maybe my work pattern hasn't been really productive, and I'm still learning. Plus, self teaching is a lot about motivation, and I've realized that it's very much based on your own intuition because if you don't have the will, it's really hard to get where you want to get. It's a lot of habits and perseverance. Yeah, but, but it, it's just like, it's a good thing that I made this YouTube video because it, it helps me remember that what I did for these two months. Hopefully I'll be making more, I, I want to one day I'll be able to make the game on my own and not keep on looking tutorials. And yeah, I hope that I'll be able to get out of that path maybe one day, that would be cool. But so far I'm just, I just, I have to keep on making these. I have to keep on making games like these until I understand the basic core concepts of uh, Unity and programming and all that. But yeah. And finally, I'll be joining the WooWee Game Jam hosted by Jonas. And he's a very cool guy. I suggest you watch his videos. Well, I'm gonna link everybody, I'm gonna link everybody down below and you'll be able to check them out and maybe also learn to make games alongside everybody else. That's it, Paul. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you, I hope this has been somewhat educational and I've linked all the sources that have helped me get as far as I've gotten now. And uh, yeah, thanks. And I'll catch you next time.